you may say something like this to me. Kevin, I really want to live for God. But for some reason, I continue to fail and so many people are doing what I think is fun, as in sinful fun. So, since I can't really do what is right, I might as well do what is wrong. For me, and what I believe I find, in order to be more successful, or should I say successful, in living for God, it's like, to me, it's like I have to make an effort to chase after God, if that makes any sense. Some people may believe things should be easy. Like, since they have accepted God in their lives, I think some people may believe things should be easy to where they don't have to place much effort in trying to live for God. And if I am understanding this correctly, I believe if you try to live for God, there will be resistance. So if there is resistance, which I believe there are demons, and I believe demons will try to get you to stray away from God, if that is true, I believe you have to constantly chase after God. What do I mean by that? I believe you have to place much time in seeking after God, whether that is praying often, reading the Bible often. You may need to fast often as well. I think some people don't really have interest. They may have interest in accepting God in their lives, but I think some people have no interest in chasing after God. If there is something you really want, let's say there is a car you really want. You may be making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year, and you may want to purchase a car that is around 30000 Now, I think you should not do that, but I think if you wanted a car that cost that much, I believe many people would work so many hours, so many times to obtain that car. Like, I would say they will chase after that car. Okay, there may be a woman you like. 
there may be, yes, there may be a woman you like. I think some men chase after a woman they like. Maybe they may even go overboard. Listen now, and you may say to me, what is your point, Kevin? Okay. I think for many people, they chase after things they want, whether it is a girlfriend, a car, an apartment, overpriced shoes, like Jordans, I believe, which makes no sense to pay so much money for those type of shoes. But I believe many people chase after things they really want. So how is God any different? If you really want God, won't you do what it takes to have a relationship with him? Does that make any sense? I think some people may believe all they have to do is accept Jesus Christ in their life and there will be no more problems. Everything is going to be fine. Like they don't have to do spiritual warfare they don't have to constantly pray. I think some people may believe God is like Santa Claus or <laughs> who else? Like the Easter Bunny or something to where he is so quick to give you treats and presents and you don't really have to do anything just sit there and have your hand out no 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 i believe living for god is constant not so much constant pressure but constant i guess i can say striving for perfection, constant going through situations and doing what is right to go to the next level. Like, I believe that is true, like a constant, what is that called? A constant elevating leveling up or whatever you want to call it. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? So before you give your life to God, I believe you should know, and I believe this to be true, living for God is like a journey. Are all journeys short and easy and whatever else? I don't think so. If someone told you you have to go on a journey, like what comes to your mind? To me, for me, perhaps what comes to my mind is maybe something long, maybe something that may not be too comfortable, Maybe something that, you know, I may have to adjust to or whatever. But a journey to me, like, if someone told me I am going to go on a journey, easy doesn't come to my mind right so listen now you may have went to church 
maybe the wrong church and maybe the pastor there told you that God is a God of love and God wants you to be rich and God wants to fulfill all your desires. You know, you may have been told some stuff like that or maybe some people gave you the wrong idea of how Christian life is. Have you read, have you read in the Bible about the Apostle Paul? The Apostle Paul went through so much bad things and he is a Christian or he was, is, he is dead now. So I guess I can say he was a Christian, but he went through so many bad things. I believe back in the Bible days, I believe many of the Christians were being persecuted. So how can you call yourself a Christian and expect no bad things to happen to you? I hope this makes sense. I believe living for God is better than not living for God. Yes, you may still encounter problems, but I believe your life is better. So let me stop here. God bless you.